Hello and welcome to another Demis Helen tutorial. Today we are looking at Hive 2 and before we begin I just want to have a really quick shout out to uh, Richard F in the comments. Uh, he's let me explore Hive 2 uh, so I really do appreciate you uh, letting me explore this and then share it with everybody and hopefully create some amazing presets. Um, so thank you very much Richard F. So Hive 2, we have a new UI. Uh, it's heavily based on the original UI. Uh, we've got the clean, normal, and dirty presets at the top for the synth engines. Uh, we have the same midsection uh, with the ARP sequencer, the XY controller, which got introduced a little bit later on in an update for Hive 1. Uh, effects which are rearrangeable and then we have this new feature called scope which is pretty neat so we'll we'll look at that in more depth in another tutorial but we're just going to have a, a quick look over it so uh, what we have we have two oscillators we have oscillator number one um, and then oscillator number two so these are just mirrored so we'll cover just one side um, we've got unison octave semitone controls we have phase options here um, we have vibrato and we have a subsection with a tune and volume attached to it so then that leads into a filter uh, and we have the filters for the same again like on the previous version so we can have oscillator 2 uh, sub and oscillator come through to this filter so we don't have to use two to control them we can control them just in one and uh, what we have is a low pass 24 and 12 a band pass at high pants a high pants high pass a band reject and a peaking setting so we'll look at them in depth in another tutorial too and then we have the usual mod envelope the lfo key follow volume and the input so that is all relatively the same there um i'm not sure if we've got any new uh, oscillator options here wave tables but uh it's all good uh, the nice thing about it, though, is they say this is low CPU uh, usage, uh, lower, should we say. Um, uh, so we'll, we'll see. We'll do some testing on that as well. Um, that then leads into this section here, which has now been color-coordinated, so it looks easier on the eye than the original, so very good job on this. Uh, we have AMP1 here, uh, we have MOD1 here, and LFO1 here mirrored on this side for this uh, oscillator and then we have these function sections and then shape a and shape b so from what i remember these are new and um what we have we can link these basically to different things to keys to knobs etc etc so we'll ex oh we'll experiment in that uh, at some point um, and then we've got this uh, shape A and B, which has got a time base and a trigger, and then you can loop it, one-shot it, etc. Um, and if we just have a look here, we've got X, Y, 1, 2, 3, and 4 to control all the different parameters. So it's basically like having macro controls, uh, which is a really nice touch. Um, it's not, nothing new, but to Hive, this is a nice, uh, proper addition to the section here. So it's nice just to have four controllers. And uh, that's obviously all mirrored on this side as well. Uh, but we've got A, B, C, and D on this side. Uh, then we've got the arpeggiator. So uh, if we look here, we've got the arpeggiator in the center as usual. All the usual settings and time-based settings. X, Y, this is from what I gather, this same section here. So if you was to change parameters on there, they're going to change on there. Uh, just looking now at the bottom. So X, Y, and 1, it's giving you the option to edit, whereas here it's not. So you'd have to click on 2 to see 2. So yeah, these are just like a mirrored function. It's just nice to have it all down here. We'll explore all some of these as well down here. So we have all these sections down here, and we can have all these amazing different options to obviously affect the sound. So uh, that is an overview of just how it looks. 
uh, micro tuning there. I can't remember if the other one had micro tuning. I don't really use it. Uh, I have messed around with it. And uh, pitch bend. Yep, yeah, they're all usual things. So, what does it sound like? Is the first question. And it sounds pretty good. Comes with a cracking array of presets, as usual, from the old one and the new one. Uh, but what we're going to do is use a new initiate preset here. So, all right. And we're just going to record something random in here and we'll use that. Um, just get the record button here. Uh, here we go. All right, so we just have that rhythm there. Um, let's just loop it, quantize it. That'll have to do. So let's see what this sounds like. Uh, let's make a, let's go for a pluck to start with. So I'm gonna put it onto clean. Uh, we'll use sawtooth and okay. some nice pluckiness going here. Okay, so we've got those usual settings there. Let's add a sub. oscillator just gives it a little bit more warmth and we've got some nice automation here now so we can see what's going on so let's have a look we've got the wavetables as well as uh, sorry I missed this bit wavetables one and two just like was introduced so instead of using the uh, preset um, sounds here you can actually use the wavetables to generate some nice sounds um, but what we're going to look at is this scope so we have audio left and right currently on here so if we play it so you get a nice representation you can see what your sound actually looks like without leaving uh, here so it's nice to have these analyzing features uh, and what we have so we can choose all different options we can that was on uh, Frozen, so now it'll take a snapshot of that section. Or you can just have it kind of going over and over and updating the system for you. So now we can choose um, different things here. So we can choose how it looks without any glow on it. It's a little bit weird. So you can have it on Eco. Keep it down as low as possible. And what else we can have on here uh, is if I remember this rightly. So if you choose, uh, let's have a look at amp one here. So you get an audio representation, but you can see exactly the shape of your ASDR, ADSR, sorry, which is a really handy feature. So if we increase the decay, see it's holding that note longer and if you are trying to match sounds with a sound that you've heard on a track this would be a really useful feature just to have in um, without having to set up extra plugins and stuff so it's a really nice thing to be able to see how plucky it is and what the sound shape looks like um, again you can use this for other things let's have a look at key follow okay so if we now adjust the key follow it's updating here so we can see exactly what is happening with the key follow adjustments um, but we'll go into all this stuff in more depth at a later point I'm not gonna dwell on this too much and uh, let's just pick one more what else are we using we're using mod one aren't we 
So again, like the same with the amp one, you get a nice representation. So we can increase the release, giving it a longer tail off, or a nice short one. So it's a really good thing to be able to see these things, uh, and I'll explain these in later tutorials. Um, so what else do we have going on? Uh, this section here, I'm assuming, is going to be related to um, the shapes here, as you can see. Uh, you've got A and B and C and D. So we'll look at that in another video. I'm not going to dwell on that again too much. Uh, we'll see what's going on. But that is Hive in a nutshell. Uh, Hive 2, shall we say. Really, really, really nice uh, UI. I'm loving the update. Again, thank you to Richard for supplying this. Um, if you did enjoy this video, uh, let me know in the comments and just let me know if you're going to be using this. Do you want to see presets for Hive 2 coming out? Because um, I'll definitely be doing something for the Patreon, uh, giving you some nice high quality presets there for a very, very small um, donation. But I'm not expecting everybody to do that. So free presets will be still landing here and there. And uh, finally, if you haven't already, hit subscribe and hit the like button. Uh, if you hit the bell icon, you'll see my two week, uh, at least two videos per week. Uh, could be more, but you'll get those minimum. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.